Hey, welcome back traders. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can do Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import a custom indicator inside Strategy Context. Then you can use the builder to generate strategies based on this indicator or combined with other indicators. Also, we're going to import the same custom indicator as a symbol to build strategies with multiple time frames or multiple symbols to generate inter strategies based on the same uh, custom indicator. So I'll see you inside. Okay, to build a custom indicator, uh, I picked uh, the put call ratio. You can download the put call ratio from the CBOE main website. Uh, just go to data, historical options, data, volume, put call ratio. And then you can go here to recent CBOE total exchange volume and put call ratio. This is a history from 2006 to 2019. Just click on it, it will be downloaded. And once it's downloaded, we go to Data Manager, Custom Indicator, Custom Data Indicator, and Add New. Now uh, we're going to call our indicator Put Call Ratio. So yeah, so we're going to call here uh, Put Call Ratio. And the code here is for uh, Strategy Quant X to use it when you export the strategy code. Uh, obviously, this is a custom indicator, so you don't need it. But it is if you click on Help here, it uh, it will bring up uh, this page. And if you scroll here, and this is basically at least you can give it this code so it can shift it back and forth. So since I'm using uh, only the ratio so it's going to be a one value so in our case it's this value and since i use trade station it's going to be this code so it's uh, whatever the name dot main and between two brackets is the shift because so strategy quant x can uh, shift it back and forth so pcr dot main and then bracket number sign shift number sign close bracket and the value is just a number it has nothing to do with price in this case so save now is it uh, uh, created we can click on it and then import the indicator data so we go to uh, the file we downloaded And the file, if I just uh, click skip to zero, you will see it has date, calls, puts, total, PC ratio. So date is obviously the date. This is the total number of calls, total number of puts, and the total number of calls and puts. We don't need those. We're only interested in the ratio. So we're going to ignore these. So again, we skip this, and this will be the date, and this will be unused. And this will be our value column. And you need to uh, show the date format. So in our case, it's month forward slash day forward slash year. So, oops, months forward slash day forward slash year. Start import. It's completed already. And you can uh, view and analyze it. And as you can see, it's just data. All is good. Now we can go to build. And we will use simple strategy. Pick, uh, I pick the yes. As I told you, you can pick any stock as it is part of it. And then training option, building blocks. In building blocks, I'm going to deselect everything. And then just have a market order, exit after number of bars and I'm going to select our custom indicator. Now in the options here I only pick the long so as to make the 
code easily to read and in the condition it's going to have one rule one rule for entry one rule for uh, exit so we go to progress start building and we have an error you have to choose at least one building blocks uh, in the setting block so if we go here uh, sorry building blocks we need to pick not a signal we need to pick an operator because uh, strategy context need to do something with this indicator if it's up down uh, so we can pick here in the operators lower or higher which is greater and crosses above crosses below and falling and rising that means if for example this indicator crosses above a certain value or this indicator is higher than a certain value or is falling or is rising so these operators to work on this indicator so now if we go to build it should work and already we have too many strategies it doesn't matter if they are winning or losing we just want to see the code because we, I have no ranking uh, in here if you go and see I have zero ranking collected so uh, so the code as you can see here is the custom data indicator put call ratio one bar ago that's the shift we added in is rising for two bars at three bars ago and then this one is crosses below three bars ago and then this one same this one is falling for four bars ago so as you can see it's will generate a multiple of variations based on these lower higher crosses above below falling and rising okay now of course you this is a, an indicator so you can add you can come here and add let's say ADX and now if I build again let's clear this if I build again now some of them will have the ADX and some of them will have our indicator so let's click here so this one is the ADX this is our indicator ADX our indicator ADX our indicator ADX and you can see so you can mix and match uh, like SQX, SQX will treat this indicator as part of uh, these available so as usual we'll go a little bit deeper now uh, let's clear this what if I want to use this indicator in a sub chart so remember when uh, in an old video we built uh, we built a multi time frame strategy so if we want to use this then the second chart will have a symbol which we which which is now this is an indicator only so in order to do that we need to add this as a symbol so if we go to data manager and we go to instruments I added this put call ratio so put call ratio it's an index 0 0.01 taken pip size and there is no commission because it's not tradable okay so now we created the root we can go to data and we can add a symbol and I called it uh, put call ratio daily and we will use the index the root we just created so put call ratio so this will populate these values here automatically save so now that this is created we can download the info in it so import file and it's the same uh, file we used uh, it will be this one and again same thing uh, we need this is the date unused 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 and this in this case will be the close because the close is most important uh, value okay so we'll pick the close 
So this is the ratio, but it's under the close. And we start, oh, and we need to pick the format. So it is this one. Month, forward slash day, forward slash year. Start import. And it's completed. And again, we can uh, go to tools and we can analyze and you know open high low they're all zeros volume is one and it's close only okay now that we have this symbol pcr daily in builder when we need to build the two time strategies so the sub chart we will pick the pcr daily which is under index so for us crypto indexes PCR daily. Okay, daily time frame. Pick the date. Now, the if I don't pick anything, it's a symbol, remember. So let's say we don't pick this also. So if I don't pick anything, we just have the operators. Okay? And remember, the option is to... one rule only now usually by default this is it one rule only and this will work on the main time frame and the second time frame the second chart so if we start building there's an error because again there is nothing picked so remember this is very important always as you need to pick some of these blocks but because we are cast usually it's already, you know, by default, you pick something. You pick here randomly 100. But since we are customizing everything, that's why it's uh, usually there's nothing picked. So let's uh, go back to customizing and we will pick zero. And then I'll pick again just the ADX. And let's see ADX. Okay. And again, we need the operators. So it's lower and greater, crosses above, below, falling, rising. Okay, market, exit after bars. So now we're using the two charts to build strategies with the ADX indicator. Okay, again, there is no ranking, so it doesn't matter. We just need to worry about the code. So now you see the long entry signal is the ADX on the main chart that two bars ago greater than zero and ADX on the sub chart that is one bar ago is rising for two bars. And as you can see, all of them is just variations of shifting and rising or falling, falling and greater than all the operators we picked. Okay. Now we can go even further, a little bit more. Now you can see I'm trading the ES and there's always a signal on the ES. But what if I only want to build, trade the ES based on some indication on the second time frame? This of course work, works on any single time frame. In our case, it's the put call ratio. So you need to go to conditions and you can click on this and use different settings for every chart. So in this chart, I don't want any conditions. Okay, so there is no entry rule, no exit rule. And in this chart, I want one entry rule and one exit rule. Of course, the tradable symbol is the main chart, but the logic will be based on the second chart. So save. Clear all, and let's check. Start building, and let's stop. So now the code, we're trading the main symbol. So main chart, current symbol, current time frame. The sub chart is the PCR daily, and look now the ADX is on the sub chart. So all these will be on the sub chart. See.
rising crosses below it's always on the sub chart so now you're trading the uh, es symbol or any symbol for that matter but based on the conditions that's happening on the uh, second chart so this is also a very powerful technique that you can use in uh, in the video that we did before about uh, intermarket strategies Thank you for watching. I hope you got some news out of this video. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so Google Algos can show it to other traders. See you in the next one.